underway here in Bloomington. Allie Papperg's importance just so clear the second she stepped on campus here in Bloomington as Cardano Hillary sinks a three, and we've got our first points of the afternoon. Purdue just 7-14 and 14 on the year as Moore will pull up at the Big Ten logo and she'll hit. She can't get it to go. Rebound will be taken by Cardano Hillary. Papberg to Mackenzie Holmes. Finishes with the left and good. Rebound taken by Purdue. Last week's win against Iowa, a major second half performance for the Hoosiers. Trailer. Guarded by Papberg, lost the basketball, and here comes Indiana the other direction. Papberg in transition, no numbers forward, but she'll hit it anyway. Allie Papberg perhaps playing in her final game in an Indiana uniform in Bloomington. Meanwhile, they'll feed Golbe inside and Alexa Gulbe. Dion trying to back down in the paint. Back to Dion, lost the basketball. Novorovsky's going to pick it up and give it off to Ali Papberg. Here comes Indiana in transition. Forward for Goulbe, and she gets the bucket and the foul. Just underway here, early stages of the second. Inside for Goulbe again, and she puts it up with two, and she'll draw the contact again, Alexa Goulbe. There is a miss for Purdue. Yeah, sloppy possession there back by from Indiana as the Hoosiers will have it again. And Goulbe will try a rare three, and she'll hit. Alexa Goulbe can't miss right now, folks. We're back in front. Boy, IU having some offensive troubles here early, and you got to be thankful that you're playing the struggling offensive group in Purdue as Moore tries to put it up from the logo. Can't get it to go, but another offensive board for the Boilers. Nearly 81 points per game over these last four wins for Indiana. And there's a bucket from Allie Papper breaking the scoreless drought. Been great for this Indiana squad. Purdue with the ball. Farquhar looking for an open boiler, and Layden will lay it in with the right. Brooke Moore being backed down by Allie Papperg, and meanwhile, Farquhar will try to throw it up with the right. That's a nice block away by Alexa Goulbe. Berger trying to create some space. Shot clock winding down. Papperg from three, left it a little bit off the mark. Offensive board, Cardano Hillary puts it up at the buzzer, and that should count for Indiana. 34-31, the Indiana lead. You mentioned Allie Papperg being the full package. This Indiana program really is the full package as Cardano Hillary will hit from three. Cardano Hillary right behind Alexa Goulbe with 10 points, and Allie Papperg drives the lay-in. Just because it has been his job to scout this team really ever since he's arrived here in Bloomington, and there is Mackenzie Holmes finishing with the left. Of course, Terry Morin, too, credits a lot to her coaching staff and the way that they are able to scout Purdue, scout these Big Ten teams to make them so successful in the conference. Now at 11 points, tied with Goal Bay for the most points in this game. Driving inside, Farquhar. Pepper trying to make the most of her senior day. Cardano Hillary, do you get more wide open? She can't get it to go, though. Left it short, offensive board again from Indiana. And they get it stripped away. Indiana turnover, here comes Moore, quick in transition, and she'll fire the three and convert. Thought about a three. She's going to roll around and dish it inside to her fellow senior, Warthen, but Warthen can't get it to go. Good defense there by Purdue. And you saw Hannah Novorowski in for Holmes. Moore, shot clock winding down, puts it up. So if, they are, if they're if they anything like they have been in the past, We'll see how they can convert in a second. Berger forward for Mackenzie Holmes, and she finishes and gets the foul. Brooke Moore going to fire from Will. Open three, had a look. Another offensive board for the Boilers. It's blocked away. Purdue almost able to grab that offensive board, but Papberg tears it away. Here comes Indiana the other direction. Berger, deep two on the way. Yes, sir. Teen on a basketball court. I mean, this entire staff just so animated all the time, always up and out of his chair. Rhett Wiersbe calling out the plays. The ball stay with Indiana here. Mackenzie Holmes finishes inside again. 67-53, the Indiana lead with four to play here in Bloomington. Globe, as you mentioned, had a great first half, and here comes another two. Now Wilson will dribble out the last 10 seconds of this basketball game, and the Hoosiers 
have finished the season with a rivalry win over the Purdue Boilermakers and their 16th conference win of the season.